Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. In today's episode I'm going to be abusing some of my old retro hardware that's in pristine condition and see if I can get it to run a more modern OS and see what else I can get to do on it more modern than what it was designed for. And what am I going to be using today? Well let me show you this fine specimen that I have here today. This is my MSI K-A-N Diamond Plus Motherboard. It has tons of features for back in the day. I'm pretty sure it has six SATA 2 ports, two IDE channels, one floppy, four DDR RAM slots, which I've populated with one gig DIMMs. And it also has PCI Express and you can run Sly in it. Not that you would want to, but you can if you have an operating system that supports that and video cards as well. Now, you might notice that it has a stock AMD cooler on here and it's one of the uh, uh, old new stocks that I got a little bit ago. And granted, it's not the best cooler in the world, so we'll see how it fares, but it was new and that's what most AMD CPUs came with back in the day, so I decided to splurge on it to make it kind of authentic. Authentically hot, that is. So, yeah, I might have to replace this with a uh, Cooler Master or something else better. But, what's under the hood is one of AMD's, one of their first 64-bit um, CPUs, the AMD 64 3500 plus CPU clocking in at 2.2 gigahertz. And it's a single core, you know, a single CPU. Uh, why in the hell would I be using that? Well, this is a socket 93 motherboard. And on this channel, I like to do crazy stuff and find out what you can do with your old hardware and if it even is possible to run anything new. Therefore, today I'm going to be testing out uh, Linux Mate or Mate, however you want to pronounce it. And we're going to see if we can run that and among other things, maybe get some web browsing on YouTube. How this system board from 2005 and the CPU from 2005 will fare. This CPU back in the day actually beat um, the Pentium 4 in a lot of regards. It is a little harder to find a dual core uh, CPU for the socket 939, but it is possible. A 4800 plus, and you can also get some um, Optrons, which are the server equivalent. Um, but they come at a hefty premium from what I'm finding, so I'm still on the hunt uh, for one of those CPUs to go on this board. So without further ado, let's proceed with abusing some of my pristine old retro hardware and start installing Linux Mate. Come on, let's go. So whenever you can get the Linux splash screen started on your machine, you know that's a legitimate sign that your system's working halfway decently. The SATA ports and also the video card. And it's loaded the uh, live CD, DVD rather. Let's get moving with this install. Unclean. Must be the old uh, SSD. I didn't wipe it. We've arrived at the desktop for the install. Took a lot, long time. It's not like USB 3.0 speeds or nothing, but uh, SATA 2 DVD ROM drive. Let's uh, go ahead and start installing uh, Linux Mint Mate Mate. However you want to pronounce it. Yeah, I expect this to take a bit of time. Yep, she's running. It's not that hot. Thank goodness. Of course, after you've done all your upgrading, updating apps and such, you need to run the obligatory NeoFetch. And um, we're running 64-bit Linux Mint Mate 22, 6.8.047. And I got this set to 
1920 by 1080, but it can run at 4K. And we have our processor here, 3500 plus AMD Athlon 64, 2.2 gigahertz. We really could do with the overclock, but not sure how well it would handle it. And here's our ATI Radeon HD 7950, and we have used 1.2 gig of the 3.22 gig of memory. It's not a very lightweight OS, everyone, but it is what it is. Now, we have to install a couple apps, of course, and uh, one of those is gonna be Steam, of course. All right, well, Steam wouldn't install, but that's not gonna stop me from getting a game to play. And uh, this is kind of like an Unreal and Quake clone uh, composite game. So, yeah. Haven't played this before, and I don't know how it's gonna run, but uh, yeah. Guess I'll do the settings. Let's see, what do we have resolution? Cool. So we're gonna try this at 1024 by, I mean 1920 by 1080 and see how it works. Oh, what do we have for audio? Do we even have any audio?
Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. And today we're going to be revisiting one of the CPUs and one of the systems that I first started this channel with. Started this channel with one of the first videos, the i7-3770. Got a nice ID cooling, CPU cooler, a core CPU cooler. Of course, there are CV650's power supply, and we're gonna throw in an AMD 6700 XT video card with 12 gig of VRAM. This system only has a PCI Express bus HB3 motherboard, and of course, it's not a Z77 platform. They don't have that one, so I'm excited to see how this system's going to do with more RAM, more power, better video card, and see how the i7 3770 still fares in 2024. Oh, but there's a surprise. So my final thoughts on the AMD 64-3500 plus. Well, that motherboard is in pristine shape and um, I'm glad I have it in my collection. Now whether or not you should really put a modern OS like Linux Mint Mate on there, that's up to you. I've shown that you can get YouTube browsing, uh, YouTube playback at 360p, 240p is better. Anything above 360p is this a slideshow. Web browsing isn't too bad. I mean, as long as you keep your expectations low and have patience, it works. Um, using Firefox, that is. The game front, Steam's not working. It's not going to support that old CPU. Uh, refused to launch. It installed, it just wouldn't launch. And uh, I suppose you could get good old game, you know, GOG. Some They have some Linux-based games, you could probably use that. But, mm, system's quite limited. It did okay, and I expected it to do a lot worse. Should you install Linux Mint Mate on this old system? Well, I think personally you'd be better off using it as a retro system with Windows XP for your retro games, or maybe even Bode Linux, or the new DSL, damn small Linux distro uh, update. That way you have more resource, resources and overhead because it was using up to 1.7 gig of the three-ish plus uh, of memory, and it was really spiking the CPU all the time. So it was fun just testing and abusing this hardware to see if it could run it, and it basically did. So if you wanna see more of me abusing old hardware, getting it to run, things that shouldn't run in the modern day and age, you might wanna consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. So thanks for watching, remember this tech.